What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Boot Camp. In this video, we are going to talk about Clint. Clint is a marksman hero with a set of burst, area of effect blink, and crowd control skills. I consider Clint as a burst marksman since his passive skill let him deal burst damage to enemies. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Clint based on our experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Clint's passive, Double Shot, enhances his next basic attack with overwhelming burst damage. Each time he casts a skill, his next basic attack within a few seconds can penetrate the line of targets. The range of your basic attack is increased farther when buffed with the enhanced basic attack. If you are planning to use this to clear minion waves, make sure you calculate that your next basic attack will hit all the minions in a line. This is where you use your low-key geometrical knowledge. This enhanced basic attack carries attack effects and can deal critical damage. So just imagine if you have lifesteal items. All enemies hit along the line will regenerate you some health. So it's best to have basic attack effects on your items to utilize hitting enemies in a line. Clint's first skill, Quick Draw, lets Clint shoot multiple bullets to the target. Using this skill will shoot 5 bullets rapidly to enemies in the area. So if there are multiple enemies, they will all share the 5 bullets. Hitting the same target will reduce the damage massively. Using this on a single target can be really painful, but with the damage reduction on hitting the same target, the four remaining bullets will just tickle your target, so it's best if this is used against multiple enemies for best damage output in team fights. But even if the succeeding bullets hitting the same target has its damage reduced, damage is still damaged, right? Take note that enemies will still be hit even if they are hiding inside the bush. Clint's second skill, Trapping Recoil, lets Clint immobilize a target. Clint will shoot a trap net towards the specified direction. The first enemy hit will receive physical damage based on his physical attack and magic power. The enemy hit will also be immobilized for a short period. The recoil of the trap net will make Clint pushed back at the same time. You can also use the recoil to keep your distance from enemies trying to go near you. And you can also immobilize them in return so they won't be able to chase you that much. You can also use the recoil to chase after dying enemies. The recoil will let him pass through certain reasonable sized obstacles. With this, you can dodge enemy projectile skills easy peasy lemon squeezy. Upon hitting an enemy, the cooldown of this skill is reduced massively. So make sure it hits an enemy or else it might cause you your life. Clint's ultimate skill, Grenade Bombardment, lets Clint throw grenade for breakfast. He launches a grenade towards the designated direction. The grenade explodes when hitting an enemy which deals physical damage to the enemies nearby. It's best to be used on team fights if the enemies tend to stick with each other, which utilizes the explosive damage even more. Enemies hit will also have their movement speed reduced for a short period. This skill stacks charges every time up to 5 times. With the stacks of this skill, you can use it as soon as possible and have your burst passive skill buff your next basic attack. There are so many items that you can buy for Clint. You can use the Kurumi Way build if you want to deal burst critical damage with extra true damage. We chose the following items to bring out Clint's first critical potential while being sustainable. Swift Boots increases your attack speed for faster basic attacking. Endless battle to deal extra true damage on your basic attacks after using a skill. Berserker's Fury increases your critical chance and critical damage. Scarlet Phantom grants you extra attack speed and critical chance when your attacks deal critical hits. Hoss Claws grants you superior amount of lifesteal especially when your health drops to a certain amount. Lastly, Blade of Despair will give you a massive amount of physical damage to make you more bursty. You can use the extra burst build if you intend to deal lots of true damage along with extra physical damage. Blade of the Heptasis deals extra damage to the target when you haven't dealt any damage in a while. Thunderbelt to deal extra true damage on your basic attacks after using a skill. 
Wind Totter for faster attack and movement speed. This also casts Typhoon every few seconds on your basic attacks to deal magic damage to three enemy units. Lastly, you can use the Typer Jungle build if you prefer to hoard all the gold from the jungle. Get Raptor's Machete as your jungling item to deal more damage against jungle monsters. Buy this item only if you are using Retribution as your spell. You receive less damage from jungle monsters when you have a jungling item. Its passive effect makes your next basic attack enhanced every few seconds and will reduce the target's physical defense and movement speed. You also gain stacks when killing jungle monsters which boosts your physical attack per stack. This item also lets you use retribution to enemy heroes to slow them down and deal true damage to them. The item build for Clint really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Clint is his Flicker. You can use it to escape danger, even death. You might also want to consider Purify. This will help you to be immune to crowd control skills for a short period. This will let you use your skills or basic attacks without the worry of being stunned. In my opinion, you can use either of the two emblem sets on Clint depending on your playing style. If you prefer the Kurumi Way item build with lots of critical chance, then the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Marksman emblem set. Set Fatal to its max level for extra critical chance to have a higher chance to deal critical hits. Setting Doom to max level will provide you additional critical damage on your critical hits. Get Weakness Finder to have the chance to slow enemies. The effect will greatly reduce targets movement speed and attack speed. This effect has a short cooldown. On the other hand, if you are aiming for a marksman with sustainability and mobility then you should consider custom assassin emblem set. Killing Spree restores health points and grants movement speed upon killing an enemy which lasts for 5 seconds. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the damage output higher and the cooldown lower. Prioritize second skill less since your first skill is what you need for better damage dealing. Always upgrade ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Almost all of Clint's skills deal burst area of effect damage. You can easily clear minion waves and push lanes without stress. His skills and enhanced basic attacks can be shot from afar, so it's really advantageous for a marksman like Clint. In terms of his combo, we use a simple combo for Clint. First, we use his first skill so we can have it on cooldown to be used again anytime soon. Then deal a basic attack to utilize his passive skills basic attack enhancement. Then, use your ultimate skill and shoot another basic attack to utilize the passive skill. Then just continue using your ultimate skill and deal basic attacks right after one another. If the enemies tries chasing after you, you can use your second skill anytime to immobilize them and escape danger. You can also use your second skill to chase after your target. Then, just deal a basic attack which is definitely have its range enhanced as well. Additional tip the burst damage from his passive skill which inherits effects such as lifesteal can save your life. We even had the time to use our sticker because we are quite confident that we can just regenerate some health before the burst damage comes in. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Clint. This video just guides you on how to use Clint the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Clint. Thanks for watching, do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway event, check out the community tab for the giveaway post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please, only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers!